Hello, traders. It is Sunday evening, May 10th. I'm doing some research, and I thought I would share some of that research with you. We're going to take a look at the market. We're going to take a look at our picks from last Friday, see how they're faring, and then I'm going to have a couple of new picks for you for Monday morning. So let's get started. You can see the SPY here. I drew this upward sloping trend line. As I've been mentioning, you really can't get short until we have technical confirmation that a top is in. Until then, we have to assume that the market's going to be heading higher. I did short the market at an average price of SPY 287. We sold some right here at 288. Then we added to the position on this little bit of a pullback. And here was the changing criteria last week. I saw the ADP report come out last week. It showed that 200 excuse me, 2.2 million jobs were lost in the private sector during the month of April. That was a much weaker number than expected, and the market did not go down. It showed a tremendous amount of resiliency. I expected to see a negative reaction to the number, and when that didn't happen, then the market actually started to rebound and move higher. I knew that it was time for us to cover that trade, so we bought back our short SPY position, probably at about a 60 cent loss. Very, very little given that the index is trading above $290. 60 cents is nothing. We just came off of a 50 point winner in SPY. So we captured about 500 points on the way up in terms of S&P 500 futures. So we need to tread cautiously in here. We need time for everything to play out. Economies are opening. That's what everyone is focused on right now, and it's happening on a global basis. Now, that doesn't mean that consumers are going to return to their old spending habits, and that, I think, is the really critical component to everything. So over the course of the next three, four, five, six weeks, we're going to see businesses reopen, we're going to see states reopen, and then we'll actually be able to gauge that consumer participation in this rally. My suspicion is that people are going to be back on the job. There may be an initial backlog of orders that get satisfied, but after that, they're going to be wondering if the foot traffic there is there, if the new orders are there, is my job secure? They're not going to open up their wallets until they know that they don't have to keep looking over their shoulders. They want to see that the economy has its footing and it's starting to move higher. Then the recovery can actually start taking hold. But I don't think that's going to happen. From what I'm seeing, people's reactions, the people that I talk to, everyone's still pretty scared about the virus and the fact that it is not dying off as expected. In fact, there are still new cases being reported, more so than has been anticipated in the past. So we're just going to go with the flow right now. Asset managers are erring to the side of being long the market because they know that if that money sits in fixed income, they're guaranteed to lose purchasing power because their fixed income investments, the yield on those investments does not even keep pace with inflation. They know that there's $3 trillion in stimulus with another $3 trillion that the Fed's going to be injecting into the capital system, and that is the safety net. So... Right now, there's still money pushing into the market, and that's why it's able to shoulder a negative news cycle like we had last week. So I'm going to be focusing on the bullish side, and before I do that, we're going to take a look at the market Friday. I would encourage all of you to go back and verify what I'm about to tell you. Watch my video from Friday, look at the release time of that video, and confirm that what I'm telling you actually is true. I'm trying to establish a track record so that you can get confidence in my research. So last week, the video came out somewhere in this range right here, about two and a half hours after the open. I had mentioned that everything was very, very flat in here and that I would not buy until I saw a pullback in the market, that any pullback would be brief and shallow, that this was a bullish trend higher, and that the market would recover from that dip. This would be our buying opportunity. We would get long and that the market had a very good chance of taking out the high of the day. That is exactly what happened. So again, please go back and watch that video that I recorded and posted Friday. Now, I also gave everyone two stock picks. Actually, I gave four stock picks to take a look at. So let's go through and review those. And I had mentioned that CMG, Chipotle Mexican Grill, was an excellent candidate. Again, that's in here. Stock closing on its high of the day. Very nice pick. Take a look at that daily chart. I still like it. In fact, I recommended selling it out of the money bullish put spread on that. I still like that trade. Another stock that I showed you and I said was good for a day trade, good for a swing trade overnight, 
was BYND. You can see how it's breaking through this horizontal resistance right here. It's above the 200-day moving average. We had earnings back there. Stock looks great. If you had day traded that, you're doing pretty well. You can see how the stock did trend higher and tried to close on its high of the day. So still in very, very nice shape. VG was one that I had mentioned you need to keep an eye on because if it can get above that 200-day moving average, which it closed right at it, I like this tight compression in here. I like this breakout after earnings and the fact that it's continuing to move higher. It needs to get through that 200-day moving average. PDD was the last stock that I told you I really liked. I love this horizontal breakout. Look at that close near the high of the day. Still think this one works Monday. Look at that nice, steady grind higher. Really really nice picks. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a look at some swing trade opportunities for Monday. I'm going to use Option Stalker to do that. And I'm going to use the custom search to find these trades. I'm going to try and keep this video pretty short. What I did was I went in and I'm looking for liquid options. For my swing trades, I like to trade options. So I look for an option liquidity rating better than two. And I also wanted to make sure that earnings had recently been announced. So these companies have announced after May 4th. Anything from Monday through Friday would be included in this search. So they've recently announced earnings. And then I also wanted to see ADX, which helps me measure trend and momentum. I wanted to see that bullish on a two-hour basis. All of these search criteria are available in Option Stalker for those of you who are using that version. It's fantastic for swing trades. You can do these searches, only takes a matter of minutes. And then I click scan. So when I click scan, you can see these are the results. If I go through every one of these picks, they're all going to look really, really good. I like ATVI. And I've liked ATVI even when we were selling off hard in March because they've got a lot of cash and because this pandemic is forcing a lot of people to stay home and they're playing video games. So it's been very, very good for ATVI. We'll take a closer look at the balance sheet and the key financial ratios and then you'll see what I mean. There are other really nice picks in here. So I'm going to click through a couple of them and we'll take a look at the daily chart. I'm gonna go into daily here. I'm not going to highlight all these stocks because my intent is to really leave you with one really good pick. So let's do ATVI first. I really like this breakout above the 67.50 level. Hey, wait a minute, Pete. You said that you were a little bit bearish on the market and the people aren't going to be opening their wallets and spending money. So why would I want to get long anything? ATVI has shown incredible resilience even when the market was falling apart. Look at this is as much as it pulled back during the market retracement that we saw a couple of months ago. If I overlay the S&P 500, look at that drop and compare it to this tiny little drop in ATVI. And you can see how when the market started to recover, it was making a new all-time high when the market was still grinding back and getting about halfway back to the range where it had been earlier. So very, very strong relative strength on a longer term basis. If the economy struggles, I don't believe that ATVI is going to suffer. At worst, maybe it pulls back to the 67 level, 67.50, let's call it. Let's go into that stock ER. Again, this is something that's available in Option Stalker. You can see all the key financials. You can see that on a fundamental basis, it has a proprietary rating of 10. You can also see that it has $7.62 in cash per share debt per share, $3.84. So they could take all of their cash and pay off all of their debt. That is a very, very solid company. Forward PE of 22.8, eh, maybe a little bit on the lofty side, but not bad. And certainly not given the growth that this company has experienced. So you can also click on that little link right there and you can read their last earnings report. Great fundamentals. Very important right now to make sure that we're using stocks that have very, very sound fundamentals in this environment so that if we do get that market pullback, we know that this stock can stand on its own two feet and that we're not going to have the rug pulled out from under us. I would not be doing this strategy on hotel stocks, gaming stocks, airline stocks, restaurant stocks. Absolutely not, because if my scenario plays out and consumers are not opening their wallets and they're not going out and spending, then these industries are going to continue to struggle. So very, very important 
to make sure that you've got the right stocks. Again, all this fundamental information is available in Option Stalker. So we're going to go and take a look at that 6750 spread. And I'm going to need to go out and do the spread. I'm going to use the normal June cycle. So this would be a June 19th spread. So this would be on for five weeks. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell the 6750 put and I'm going to buy the $65 put. And when I do a spread that has two and a half points between the strike prices, I always like to get a 50 cent credit for that because that generates a 25% return for me. So what I'm going to do is put in a 50 cent credit. You can see it's actually negative bid offered at 65 cents, excuse me, 55 cents. So we're not likely to get filled on this. We're going to need a little bit of a pullback in the stock to get filled. But we've got time to work the order and we'll try through the course of the week to see if we can get filled on it. If not, I would suggest canceling the order. The stock will probably keep drifting higher and we don't want to chase right now. We need a little bit of a pullback to get filled on this trade and that's fine. So that would be the trade right there. I'm going to put in GTC and then we're going to click staged order. You can see for one contract. And so now if you're a member of Option Stalker or Option Stalker Pro, you can go into the staged order screen and you can click on that order and route it right to your broker. And there it is right there. Click submit. That order will be routed to your broker. Now, when it's residing at your broker, you may want to change the contracts because this is only for one contract. So you may want to do five or 10 spreads. You determine the quantity that you want to do, but at least the order is configured and routed there. So it'll be easy for you to make that change. So let's go and take a look at some of the other stocks that we have. By the way, if the market pulls back, and if the SPY pulls back below 288, that's a major support level right now. That was the breakout. I think you got to be a little bit leery with any type of bullish put spread. You want to see ATVI maintain some strength. So if the market really gets into trouble and pulls back even further, this 6750 strike price, that is also your stop. If the stock closes below 6750, you've got to be out because that would designate a failed breakout. You can see the earnings right there, and A means after the close. So let's click through some of the other stocks and take a look at a few of them. I'm not going to go through all of them. BYND, I showed you. Beautiful chart there. CHGG, fantastic. Look at that breakout through horizontal resistance after earnings. This is a stock that will definitely be playing on a day trading basis. Love that strength. FLIR, really, really nice. You can see this upward movement there. Uh, manufacturing devices that allow people to take temperatures very quickly. So uh, they are going to be ramping up their distribution so that it can be used everywhere. Hospitals, you name it. So really nice chart on FLIR. LVGO looks really good. Look at that breakout. PayPal, beautiful horizontal breakout after earnings. Big runner. Fantastic there. SQ, really nice, filling the gap right in there above that 200-day moving average. TWLO, off to the races, big breakout, long green candles closing on their high, super nice. W, likewise, strong head of steam. Here's the search that I used, very easy to find. Look at this, I probably had 12 candidates could have traded any one of them, taking a look at what the fundamentals were behind each company. PayPal and SQ are in the transaction processing business, so they don't have credit risk, and they're benefiting. People are still spending money online. They may not be in brick-and-mortar stores, but they are still spending. So decent cash flow out of these companies as well. FLIR, I explained a little bit to you. CHGG makes software for students to communicate online. So obviously, they're in a sweet spot right now. All of these businesses look really, really strong. They've got strong macro conditions. So that's how we find these opportunities. We'll end with a little market recap here. And I've given you some really nice stocks to take a look at. I gave you that really nice ATVI bullish put spread to take a look at. We'll go back into the market one more time. And this upward sloping trend line must be maintained. That comes in around SPY 285. 
as long as we stay above 285, you can favor the long side. We also have a breakout above horizontal resistance at 288. So those are your two support levels you want to watch on ESPY, 288 and 285. As long as we stay above those levels, we don't want to be doing any kind of shorting. I believe that the market will try and make a push up to SPY 300. That's where we've got the two major moving averages, the 100-day and the 200-day converging. And given the positive reaction last week to a negative news cycle, I believe that asset managers are still engaged, buyers are still engaged. I believe that we continue to drift up to this level. Bullish put spreads will work. It's going to be probably four, five, six weeks until we start getting some information on consumer confidence and consumer spending. I think that could be the show changer, but we have to wait for that news and we have to wait for those technical breakdowns. Please make sure you go back and watch Friday's video. Validate that I said to get long those stocks and that I called exactly what the market was going to do on Friday. I want you to have confidence in my research. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on your notifications because then you'll know when a new video has been posted. I promise you, in every one of these videos, I'm going to have some great trading ideas for you, and I'll also provide a lot of education for you as well, because I want you to be able to find these plays on your own. Thanks so much. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.